What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again, and we are back with another interesting and exciting and much awaited and most talked topic in the astrological circles and even from people who take consultations or who are learning astrology. And that topic is why do remedies in astrology don't work? Or why do they don't work as promised? <laughs> or do they work at all? Yes, the answer to the question is, if remedies work, the answer is yes, 1000%, it works. But the question is, why is it not working for me, or for you, or for him, or for her? Yes, we will look at those questions today. And if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed to it yet, then please subscribe to it and if you like this video, click the thumbs up at the end. And if you want to schedule a personal consultation with me, then please follow my website link below, Vidik Renaissance, and go there. And before beginning, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you find the right remedies. So now, the point of discussion is, oh yes, before I begin anything on remedies, Recently, I made a video on what to do if you cannot afford money for a consultation. So, uh, there was some peculiar responses from people. So, there was one person who commented. He's Indian, I guess. So, he commented that, uh, oh, you are such a con. You are fearing people no, that uh, go and give money to astrologers when they, when they can't afford. No? And the aim of that video was not to tell you that when you are in difficulty, go to an astrologer. That was not the aim of the video. All right. <laughs> so I'm clarifying what was the objective of that video. The objective of that video was to tell everybody that if you are in a difficult time and if you feel the need to go to an astrologer, but you do not have the finances, then you should be the first person to go and take the consultation because... If you do not do that, you will not know where is the challenge. All right. I am not telling you that come to me for a consultation. You, it is true with anybody, with any astrologer. Okay. But that doesn't mean that any problem you have in life, instead of working on it, you go to an astrologer. It's not the solution. Remember, astrology is not a solution for karma. Remedies cannot replace karma. Means... If you just put a photo of Kuber on this direction and if you don't go to the office, it is not going to work. All right. So you have to do your part. Astrology should be used in the last, in the last, in the last as the last option available. First of all, whenever there are difficulties, you should try out everything. All right. On a mundane level, for example, if you are facing difficulties in your job, Try your best to sort it out. Try your best to be more efficient. Try your best to have a good relation with the boss. Try your best to have connections if you are in business. All right. Try everything. And then second thing you should do is you should try to cultivate yourself spiritually. By that what happens is you will understand that the problems which are happening externally will not so much matter to me internally if you are spiritually elevated. But if you are not elevated, then every small thing that happens to you in your life will bog you very much. Okay. So read the scriptures, chant mantras, get up in the morning, lead a good lifestyle, uh, remove violence from your life, especially eating non-vegetarian food. Because if you are having sin tainted with you in your life, now I know somebody will blast me in the comments that oh you are a you are a vegan or a veg vegetarianist or you are preaching this philosophy of vegetarianism. Yes, I am doing that. You can tell me that. <laughs> I am not saying who. I am not criticizing those people who are me eating meat. Don't misunderstand me. I am just simply telling why in this same age of the 21st century, as evolved human beings, as science says, right. Why can't we have this basic sense that killing somebody for the taste of our tongue is not right? <laughs> if you tell me that I am a preacher of vegetarianism, you are right. I am perfectly that. <laughs> and if you think that I will change my tone just because you say like that to me, well, you are so wrong. The more you shout, I will hit you back. 
the more you hit me i will hit you back the more harder all right if you tell me that stop preaching about vegetarianism well that's not going to happen this channel is not about that i am not going to publish videos on geeta and then go on telling yes you can have tandoori chicken or you can have uh this uh, mutton rogan josh it is not going to be like that sin and spirituality go well together somebody says that no 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 you can do whatever you want no you can drink you can smoke there are people there are gurus who say like that i will not take names <laughs> because many people are connected to different uh, so called spiritual organizations and then they will uh, their emotions may be hurt all right so if by doing everything uh, your life would be perfect then lord krishna doesn't have to come <laughs> and speak the gita he would have said okay just do whatever you want just chill man so to gain followers people may say like that yes oh just do whatever you want just chant this secret mantra things will happen automatically you don't have to worry i am not like that okay and if somebody thinks that they will get something of that sort in this channel then then let me tell you you are in a wrong place you will not get that all right i will not tell anybody that by breaking the principles of the scriptures you will gain happiness you may chant a million mantras i am i am telling you trust me i have seen people i have seen so many people with this they may be doing great spiritual activities big big donations big big mantras six hours they are chanting mantras but they are still going on eating meat they are still going on doing other nonsense and then after some months some years they call me and tell i'm sorry sir nothing is working i am leaving my spiritual path now this is not to denigrate somebody who uh, is having some bad habits all right but my point is we have to try to work on them because always remember every sinner has a future and every saint had a past all right so the aim of spirituality is to improve ourselves and for that we have to first understand those things which are pulling us down all right so without that we will not be able to know what to do because there are things which are pulling us down so to gain followers or to gain popularity or to gain uh, subscribers as they call in youtube i will not be telling anybody that ah do whatever you want if somebody is telling this is wrong this is right don't don't give it to them it's all nonsense you can do whatever you want well if that is the case you think like that then you are at the wrong place <laughs> okay now that doesn't mean that uh, tomorrow you go on a propaganda against those people who are eating meat i'm not saying that embrace everybody but also be very clear when you are speaking about principles okay just because somebody is your friend or somebody is your mother or somebody is your father uh when they ask you when uh, that why are you a vegetarian all right you cannot just be nice to them and say that no no actually no i don't know why i am no you have to be very clear i am not saying you insult them but be very respectful to whoever they are and then tell them that i have decided that it is not good to kill animals all right so you have to be very clear with your uh, ideals with your goals otherwise people will not understand you people will slam you right left so if you are not strong in this kali yoga people will hit you right left <laughs> okay so you don't have to hit them but be very firm with your principles don't don't compromise don't uh, don't waver off from your principles just because your best friend is telling your best friend tomorrow is telling this tomorrow uh, today he is telling this tomorrow he will tell something else all right so coming back to the point of remedies so somebody told me that um, i'm fearing people that oh remedies are not working because uh, they are not approaching me for consultations now and general remedies don't work well let me clarify something actually there is no need of clarification but just uh, some people i don't know why they don't understand what i speak in the videos they just listen to what they want to hear all right but i am telling you again that general remedies may not work all the time you may like to hear this or you may hate it but still i am saying general remedies will not work i am telling on record general remedies will not work for everybody in all circumstances forget about astrology take the example of a doctor and a patient okay suppose everybody in india knows what should we do when you have a stomach trouble or oh, take this tablet o2 it's orange color i guess <laughs> any indian you ask okay what to do when there's a stomach trouble they will say okay go 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 and take o2 okay 
Now, similarly, if there is a problem in somebody's birth chart and you are undergoing some difficulties, then you ask in India somebody, they will say, any random person, I am saying one who is not an astrologer, they will go and say, oh, we know what's causing the problem. It's Sare Sati. Sare Sati. They, people in India don't know what actually Sare Sati is. They just know it's some kind of a horror face. Oh my God, Sare Sati is there. <laughs> Well, if by that, if all problems could be solved, then uh, there would be no doctors. Everybody would go bankrupt, right? The entire um, organizations of medical science, they would collapse because you are having a trouble in the stomach. It does not mean that your bowels are not functioning properly or you are having a diarrhea or a dysentery or a constipation. It can mean a million other things. Okay. So... O2 is a tablet which generally uh, Indians will prefer. <coughs> but that doesn't mean that just by taking O2, your problems will be solved. <laughs> okay. If that would be the case, uh, there would be no doctors because they would all become jobless, right? So that is what I wanted to say. And that is what I'm going to tell in this video that why remedies do not work sometimes. If somebody is telling remedies are not working, Either of the two things are happening. The first thing is happening is the person is going to a wrong astrologer or a wrong uh, so-called guru or a person who cannot actually guide you. All right. So please be careful when you approach somebody for guidance <coughs> because that person, whoever you are approaching for guidance, has the power to influence your mind and your decisions and your future in a particular way. All right. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is, you are not approaching anybody for specific problems. You are just going on asking uh, general remedies. For example, many people, I find them, they are asking uh, in pages, in Facebook, YouTube, oh, give me some remedy for job. And there are so many astrologers who will also suggest, okay, what you should do now, the south zone is the direction of fame. So what you do now, just put a picture of Hanumanji there. <laughs> Well, if that uh, would solve the problem, then there would be no need of astrologers, right? Because everybody in India knows that, okay, Hanumanji's photo should be there, Balaji's photo should be here. Not everybody means 50-60% of the Hindus especially. They know, they are well versed with all these remedies. But then why are they running, sir? Why are they crying? Because they are thinking that those general remedies will give us a solutions. Well... I would be very happy if that would happen but unfortunately it doesn't happen like that because there would be a particular planet sitting there and that planet may not be compatible with that remedy yes the 10th house which is representing uh, that zone or you may have problems in relationships all right or you may have problems in other areas of your home or some area in your life which you are doing very wrong that may be giving you trouble. It may not be related to Vastu or home. So unless you understand the life of a person in totality, when I say life, it means what the person does from morning till the evening till the night, what the person does in the day, what the person does in the evening, what the person does in the night. Don't suggest remedies, for God's sake, please. Please do not suggest remedies. If you just see his horoscope and then you say, okay, maybe this is like, no, whenever you are suggesting remedies, be very careful. Sit with them and you ask them. Like, this is how I approach my consultations. Whoever has uh, taken consultation from me, I first ask them, okay, how's your, these are the things I ask. How's your uh, sleep? Okay, I focus on sleep very much. Then how, what's the situation when you get up? Are you able to get up easily? Okay. And whoever has taken consultation from me, they will definitely agree to what I say here because that is how I approach, okay? Now, the sleep and getting up, that is very fundamental because if you are not getting proper sleep, that means there's some problem. <laughs> All right, so we have to take care of those sleep and getting up, that, that issue there. We, without it, we cannot suggest remedies because if the person is not able to sleep properly, how will the person... Uh, have energy to chant mantras in the morning how will the person have the power to get up in the morning that is not going to happen okay so what i'm trying to say here is you have to know the lifestyle of the person what the person is eating okay is the person eating too much meat there then suggesting remedies for mars will not work because you are destroying your mars when you are eating uh, non-vegetarian food 
so now what to do try to reduce it best is if you can nullify it completely when you are uh, chanting mantras na reading the scriptures meeting holy people going to satsang associating with uh, saintly personalities you will see automatically your diet will improve you will not feel like seeing all those things for example if somebody contacts me and they are having problems in relationships i will directly ask them what's the situation of venus i will check the venus in their horoscope but i will also ask them are you destroying your venus by doing things like watching pornography because if you are doing all those things you are investing rahu inside your venus because that's what rahu represents if somebody says i am having problems with speech mercury i'll ask them are you gossiping too much or are you sitting with those people who gossip too much so these are the things if somebody is telling me i am not able to uh, connect myself spiritually with people even though i have tried with so many gurus then i will see what's the situation of their jupiter yes i will see uh, which are the planets in the ninth house and then accordingly i will say something now if i see that the person is able to get up in the morning then i will suggest the mantras to chant in the morning but if i see the person is a late riser the person cannot get up at 5 o'clock then what's the use of uh, suggesting mantras or anything which is related to the uh, fifth house or the ninth house because that then in area of mantras because then that person cannot do it yes so it's useless it's a waste of time if if i suggest something like that and then so many other things are there if a person's son is afflicted or if he says that my relationship with my father is not good then i will say how is your relationship with your boss are you insulting them are you bitching about him yes him or her anybody can be your boss by that also you are destroying your son so that will reflect in some other area of your father all right so that is what i wanted to say in this video once again that when somebody says remedies don't work either of the two reasons will prevail first reason is you are going on doing general remedies which everybody in india knows okay like you are having a headache go and take crocin but you you might have a terrible disease terminal disease because of which you are having that headache so you are going on taking crocin again and again and again but that's not going to cure the problem all right so instead of taking crocin we should stop and we should go and consult the doctor if we are not getting uh, freedom from that problem yes because it doesn't work like that <laughs> just by taking a crocin you can get rid of a headache that's okay but that doesn't mean the headache is not caused due to some other problem what if you are having having cancer what if you are having some other problem then it will be disaster if you just go and uh, sit in the uh, bathroom and you keep taking crocin all the time yes that's not going to work all right so and the other reason is you are going to a wrong person who cannot suggest you remedy so my request is whenever you are talking of remedies please go to somebody who is well verified well tested and people have in general a good opinion about them and you know that they are bona fide okay otherwise remedies can destroy your life and that's where i want to caution you so now i know what will happen after i make this video some uh, there are many people who will comment oh look you are again behaving like a con and you are again fearing people you can type whatever you want <laughs> yes when i see those comments i feel bad that i want to say something and then people are interpreting it in a wrong way i definitely feel bad because i wish you would have understood what i meant to say yes but i know not everybody can understand what i mean to say right because what i want to say here is help yourself if you feel that i need a consultation and when you should take a consultation is try out everything the other day somebody commented in that video that oh what you are saying is not correct you know if you are facing problems in life you should go and feed your children first do your job first instead of running to astrologers that is what i am also telling you okay don't just run to astrologers if some problem happens okay oh today my na leg is not functioning i will go and ask what's the problem in my 11th house that's the house of legs no it doesn't work like that suppose you have a problem in your leg go to a doctor don't go to an astrologer for god sake okay and then you go to the doctor and you talk what's the problem there and then if the doctor is saying we cannot diagnose your problem then do a ct scan mri whatever it is i don't know what's there in the medical field and then if nothing is working then you go to an astrologer and ask oh what is happening they are not able to diagnose this problem can you please help me or suppose uh, your relationship is in trouble then 
try to develop an understanding with the partner come to uh, try to come to a negotiation okay and then if nothing is working and you have tried every other possibility you take help of your friends your family members and then also nothing is working only then you go to astrologers all right don't just run to astrologers whenever you get in trouble i know people some of my friends what they will do suppose they want to give a entrance exam they will give and then immediately they will ask me oh i gave this entrance will i will i clear it i'm like for god's sake <laughs> i can tell it to you will you clear it or not but the question is why are you behaving so much helplessly why are you using astrology where you don't need because you have given the exam anyways you will get the results why do you need to know will you get get through it or not <laughs> so that is a symptom of weakness of a person if for every other small thing the person goes to an astrologer all the time i have seen that is why i do not reply to these people even though they are my best friends not that i don't have time or i am not interested in talking to them but i don't want them to become helpless like this that every time anything happens oh tomorrow you have gone to the bathroom and you are not able to clean your bowels then you will call me and ask oh i am not able to clean my bowels today is there any problem <laughs> i mean come on uh, keep astrology till where it is needed okay do if you try to stretch astrology and take it to places where you don't actually need it i am telling you you are writing a wholesale recipe for tears <laughs> because always some problem or the other will be there astrologically tomorrow your saturn may be transiting over moon then you will say oh my god i am in sare sati what if it is transiting over venus <laughs> then you will have difficulties in relationships because that is why whenever we see a horoscope some problem or the other will always come all right you will always have some problem or the other so don't expect that when you go to an astrologer he will just tell you okay okay this is happening now do this the problems will disappear it is not going to happen like that okay be very realistic try everything and then only you go to an astrologer and whenever you go please ask for remedies which can improve your life overall all right overall means your mental well being your physical well being and your spiritual well being and your social well being these four are very important if any astrologer is not suggesting you these four remedies then uh, maybe we can uh, we should find better astrologers all right and i am not giving this blind dictum i am simply saying what i feel is important what do you think is it not important because you have a body physical body is important you have a mind can you just say that i don't have a mind <laughs> then you have a social life right social circle can you stay without people if you can stay maybe you are a yogi but i can't stay at least i need people then you have the spirit soul atma who is actually you so any astrologer you go they must suggest remedies or how to improve your life on these four platforms if they are not suggesting then you are uh, probably not going to the right person okay and then there may be different criteria now somebody may write oh who are you to tell who is a good astrologer i am not saying he is or she is a good astrologer i am saying these are areas where i focus because i feel these four things are very important mind body soul and our social interactions okay and the remedies has to be specific to the horoscope you can write again that i am fearing people yes if you are getting feared then that's your problem <laughs> my agenda is not to fear people okay because or nor my agenda is to gain subscribers because tomorrow uh, tomorrow i can do something which will give me 100 subscribers in one day you know what is that go and check so many people they make videos on sexuality how to gain uh, how how sexually is uh, aries compatible with the virgo yes how sexually is a leo compatible with a capricorn so if i also make such videos uh, probably i will uh, reach 10000 subscribers within uh, maybe one one year or so i wish i could have done that <laughs> but no that is not my motto there is it it's called astrology it's not sexology here okay so if you think that if somebody thinks who is watching this video that i am uh, fearing people and i am taking money from them all right 
by telling them that oh remedies don't work no if that was my motto I, I tomorrow i can make a video there are channels in youtube i can tell you the names you open their channel and they'll start start blasting you oh my god now your sarasati has started if you don't do this you will die this will happen your mother will die your father will die and you'll be like oh my god <laughs> What's happening, man? It's kind of a dreaded fear program which is going on. Man, Sade Sati has started. You know, your Saturn's Mahadas has started. You will die. Your Rahu's Pratyantar, your Rahu's Antar has started. You are going to die. And people will cheat you. You will die. You will live, you'll live a miserable life for the next 19 years. My God. There are channels who do that. All right. If that is my motto, then I. if that was my motto, I could have also done like that. Yes. So if you find any video where I am uh, fearing people then the only thing I would say is get well soon because I do not go on either of the extremes where I say no no everything is good there are no problems well if that would be the case you would not take birth <laughs> and on the other extreme you say oh you are helpless you can't do anything now nah? your time is bad you are going to die that's another stupidity stupidity of the other extreme there are many astrologers who are on both the sides nah? they will behave as psychologists because psychology says don't uh, negatively impact a person so whenever see they see some negativity they'll be like no 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 it's not a bad combination you see it has positives like i have seen astrologers whenever they will see a uh, saturn venus conjunct or they will see jupiter rahu then these are the two very famous conjunctions <laughs> then uh, especially many astrologers i will not take their names they will say no 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 this is a good combination in kali yuga actually it's not very bad to have these things in kali yuga yes I don't fool people by telling all this, okay, that this is good combination or and on the other side, I don't tell, oh my God, your Jupiter is with Rahu, you can never take to spirituality or your Saturn is with Venus, you will never get married. That's another extreme. So check what conjunction is appearing, Saturn Venus is appearing, give the remedies, Jupiter Rahu, give the necessary remedies particular to that horoscope. Tell the person that, sir, you are suffering because of this. Please do this remedy and then you will improve. Because if you do not know the problem, how will you know what to diagnose? <laughs> okay. So that is it from my side. And if you if you have started developing fear <laughs> and uh, if you feel that uh, I am fearing you, then yes, 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 please come to me and make me rich by booking a consultation from me. Okay. Uh, must do it otherwise he will die right <laughs> I'm also thinking let let me make videos on sexuality from tomorrow now how is Leo sexually compatible with Virgo what about cancer and Scorpio now? two water signs all right I hope those days never come in my life okay if you're new to the channel and you have not subscribed to it yet, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation, then approach me in my website, Vedic Renaissance. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up. All right. So I wish you good luck with your remedies. And I hope that you find the right person and not get cheated by people in the name of remedies, gemstones, etc, etc, etc. Okay. Until next time, wish you good luck. Bye-bye. See you.